What if you have multiple stores in multiple locations, but you want a single page as a home page to like control all of them? Well, let me introduce to you Facebook Shops. So this can help you add shops to a page structure on Facebook. So before we begin, we need to be an admin for this page. And let me just show you an example. For example, I already opened this page here. This is Harvey Norman. It is a convenience, not a convenience, it's a hard electrical shop. Yeah. Uh, electrical shops and they sell a lot of appliance and things like that so it's, this one is in Australia and as you can see they got a main page but they have many many stores all around Australia so they use this, main, this page as a main page for them to manage all of their other pages from other places so for example okay now I just this is the main page now let's go to shops right as shops you can see there there are many many locations here right so for example, if you just want to go to see one of their stores, just click the list number 33. Mm. Just click on this. Yeah, apparently you have to go very deep, okay? And then you just see there's uh, this Harvey Norman Bondi Junction, right? It, this will be easier for people when people go to visit your store, then they can tag your store instead of just tagging your main page, right? So you just click on here. When you click on here, you will see that you will open a new page. And this page is actually uh, Harvey Norman Bondi Junction. So they, they create like a, a name for it, for Bondi Junction. And then it can be called as a separate page. It is a separate page because they have different page and things like that. However, it is all still being managed by a single, the, the main corporate page, which is the main corporate Facebook page, which is this Harvey Norman Australia. And all these are just the smaller ones and are being controlled by this page. And this will be good as well because you can see that if you have multiple locations in, in like, like a lot of places, it'll be easy. Easy for you to manage, easy for other people to see as well. You see just like this one in Melbourne, Victoria. Yeah, you can see as well. So you don't have to every time create a new page, you can have all parked under one. And then it can be managed there as well. So it's pretty good, pretty neat, pretty good way of structuring your shops if you have many locations. Now let's jump into how to do it. So now this is a, a business manager for one of the companies that are helping them to put to do the shops thing. And then as you can see uh, if to, to log in just like go business.facebook.com and then you come to this page. So you click on this this icon here the, the, the top the nine dots it could be the burger icon where it comes out horizontally it's still the same location you just click on it and then there will be a place when you go down all the way and you can see the shop locations right just click on shop locations basically i will also put in the description box all this information so that you can check as well just that i'm showing you the walkthrough and if you have any problem feel free to message put in the comment section below or just message me personally so now i have a store so i want to add stores okay now you have three options add manually which is uh, one by one you fill up right uh, i will do this manually because i have less than 10 i only have few to add in um, and then add multiple stores you, shops you can you can add using this they will give you a uh, excel sheet or csv file you just have to fill it in then download it back again or connect an existing page so for example you or for example they already created like harmony normal melbourne right you want to link them together so you can so that they have one main page where everybody can see the whole thing so you can still get access to this page so for now we're going to add manually so you see there's a lot of different information here and i cannot show you the information there's a lot of information so i'll just fill it up first and then i'll get back to the video hi i've added some of the stores total as five of them and I just want to go through with you the adding process because it's not as simple as it seems <laughs> so as you can see the shop ID you can just put any number which is a running number mm. and then a location descriptor for example for example like this one if he put as the Melbourne Babu Victoria Australia so this is the location descriptor right so you just have to put it here street address it is quite accurate. The moment you put in a street address, the the address will show quite closely to where it is in terms of number. I just put Melbourne, USA, Melbourne, Australia. Okay. I just see the map will turn out or not. So anyway, 
Uh, then you go to city town, then you have to key in exactly. Um, it's not showing this example. Yeah, let me get a let me get an address. Yeah, this looks this address seems legit. So I'll just put this address right, and then I'll just put the city town as Melbourne, Victoria. Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. So it appear here, and then you can see the map is here. It's pretty accurate. If it's not accurate, just go through the Google map and move the cursor around accordingly and click save. So that's just now when I do all five, I have to one by one check the exact location and one by one click in. So if you have a lot of uh, shops, yes, you may use the you may use the Excel, I mean the, the file to upload it, but uh, better check on this, this location as well because it may run. Because a few of them is very far away, so I have to put it back in. And then you need the phone number. Um, and then your username, for example, like this one. Uh, Harvey Norman QV. So this is in QV Mall. Uh, for here, she just put Harvey Norman at Bondi Junction. This is Harvey Norman AU. So you can change accordingly. Just put the name that you are okay with, comfortable with. And then up to you, which kind of category you want to put, like retail, you know. Retail company, mobile, or service. Uh, whatever will be okay uh, but you have to put it all the all the things in as you can see it's mandatory page username also mandatory opening hours you can put exactly the opening hours that you want to the service charges as as same same as well changes the price range this is the, the price range that you see usually how much they, they are they are charging so you can put like uh, less or just don't put anything right after that you click save that immediately it will appear at the at the store ids here okay this card so another thing that i want to show you is that when you go to this is a the list of shots so when you go home so they will show the details the stores and the issues okay because i didn't add the opening hours and i didn't add the wi-fi i wi-fi is important i guess because you want the guests to be able to have wi-fi i do not know how it works but apparently it's important so yeah so you can key in but if you don't key in you still have the page up no problem so the shops are here the shop sets so this is uh, I haven't created any store sets yet so I guess this is for you to run ads um, and I have not really test on this yet shops and encourages we see and sales by creating shop sets which is a grow okay so they may want to put them together into a single location for example uh, it could be in for like 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 in Australia, it could be in Melbourne, then it could be in Sydney and things like that into one set on category and then they can run ads directly to their shop. So um, if, if you are aware of the campaign, Facebook campaign, there's one objective which is called store visits. So this could be it. That means when you run store visits ads, right, people will see the ads, people can immediately click on the ads and they can they will automatically redirect it to a GPS. So the GPS will bring them directly to the ads, uh, to the shops. So that is the, the maybe this is the reason why it's being done here. I'm not set it up yet, uh, but because my location is all one place only, so there's no need for that. Uh, then settings. Okay, this is the the important part as well because what I did, if you notice that the the, the post, right? So the post you post here may directly go to here. Go to here. That's why you see it's exactly the same, right? So you can see the post is here all the same thing so it's up to you, you can set uh, always show only show store and page and don't publish your own post so you can just keep showing so currently i the default is only shows on store because you don't have to manage all these stores right so automatically they will have when you post here you'll be posted there right and then uh shop suggestions whether allow or not allow up to you keyboard shortcuts <laughs> again it's up to you whether you want to put it in or not <laughs> I don't think it's anything that, that, that we need to know and yeah so that's it so this is just this is the step by step on how you create additional shops into your facebook page if you have many many different kind uh different kind of location different kind of offline stores and you put them together we manage it to one facebook page i hope this is helpful for you and if you like what i've shared and you find it informational um, you can share this to people that need it do subscribe uh, like, comment, uh, whatever that can help the engagement of this video. And thank you so much. I see you in my next video. Goodbye.